We are getting ready to uh, go live with our midweek Bible study uh, here in a few minutes. We're just going to give it a while to see if anyone comes on uh, tonight. I know we're supposed to get started at 6 o'clock. Uh, I have about two minutes till, but uh, we're just going to give a few minutes for others to come on. Once they click on, it'll come on there, right? Yeah, it is. It ain't like the conference call. No. Mm -hmm. You'll know who you are. Oh, yes. You'll start seeing them. There's yeah. Kathy. Hello, Sister Kathy. <laughs> We're going to give a few more minutes. Maybe others will come on. Uh, we have people coming on as I'm speaking. And we're going to give a few more minutes. Hello, Brother Eddie. Hello, Sister Linda Rose. <laughs> Hello, Kathy. Wonderful. Antoine. Hi, Antoine Booker. Hello, Thank Sister you. Johnson. Okay, we have straight up six o'clock. Uh, others will probably be joining us. Uh, as we start, uh, we are going to be bringing you uh, this Bible class uh, from my living room. I have my partner in the gospel, Amen. Sister Booker, here with me. You want to say a word? Just want to say hello to everyone. We are so glad that you are staying connected, and we are so glad that you are waiting and anticipating a word from the Lord. Uh, from his from his servant, uh, <laughs> Brother Anthony R. Booker. But we are glad to see all those that have uh, joined us tonight. Okay, let's open up with a prayer tonight. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for what you are doing. Even in the midst of this crisis, we know you still God and you can take care of it all. Father, we ask that you continue uh, to bless those that uh, may be suffering from the COVID-19. We pray, Father, that uh, those who are trying to find a cure, that they'll be able to find it. But, Father, we trust you yes. that we just going to rely on you. Give it to them, Father, Lord. we just pray that you do yes. what you do best, and that is you heal. Yes, Lord. And, Father, we know that you can. And we ask you that you would do it, yes. that we'll be able to get back uh, to yes. life as it used to be. Thank For you. in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Again, good to be with you tonight. Um, I want to invite your attention to the book of Hebrews. Uh, so take your Bible, be turning to Hebrews chapter 12. Uh, and I want to begin with verse number 12. 12. Hebrews chapter 12, and the verse is number 12. I'm going to read through verse number 15, then I'm going to come back, and we're going to talk about uh, these few verses. So join with me in Hebrews 12 and verse number 12. Wherefore, lift up the hands of which hang down. Amen. And the feeble knees. Yes. And make straight paths for your feet. Yes. Lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. But let it rather be healed. Amen. Follow peace yes, with sir. all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord, looking diligently, lest any man fall from the grace or fail of the grace of God, 
Lest any root of bitterness yes. springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Amen. I thought since we are in this crisis with COVID-19, I thought I would just give you a word of encouragement uh, tonight. Because I think this is probably one of the most powerful verses in the New Testament. And when you look at what the Hebrew writer is saying, and I thought it would be very fitting for us tonight because he says, uh, Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down. Yes. You know, we're going in a time right yes. now when there are many people who are giving up. Yes. They feel helpless. They feel hopeless. And our hands are just hanging down. Instead of raising their hands in praise <laughs> uh, to God, yes. seem like their hands are folded and they don't know which what to do yes. and which way to go. Yes. So hopefully tonight, instead of people having hands hanging down, we want to lift those hands yes, up. Sir. We want to praise God yes, because sir. he's still good. Yes, sir. Even in the midst of uh, COVID-19, God is still good. So I want, to, want you to raise your head. But not only raise your head, but raise your hand. Yes. And hopefully tonight that this message will encourage you to lift up your hands yes. in praise to God. But it also says in this particular passage, not only lift up your hands, but also uh, the feeble knees, yeah. uh, the person that uh, have feeble knees, that's the individual that uh, really don't know uh, which way to turn. Yeah. Uh, they are so discouraged, so downhearted that they have feeble knees. We want to strengthen the knees. Uh -huh. Not only raise your hands, yes. but get on your knees and pray uh, to God. Yes. So lift the hands and get on your knees and praise God. Yes. But verse 13 says, and make straight paths for your feet. In other words, the Hebrew writer is telling us that you're going to have people following you. There are going to be individuals that will look at you, yes. especially during this crisis. Yes. I want you to make the path straight. Hallelujah. It, it actually carries the idea of, of a highway that people can follow. So when you have folks that are following you, they need to be able to see the straight path that you are on. And you are lifting your hands, bowing, having strong knees, but you are also making a path yes. that is straight enough huh. for those who are so disheartened and discouraged uh, are able to see the path and uh, follow you. But then he also says, not only have the path straight for your feet, so that the lame can turn uh, not out of the way, but rather be healed. Yes. You want the individuals that are so downhearted during this time, so discouraged, uh, don't know what to do. You need to be a source of strength. I need to be a source of strength. Sister Booker need yeah. to be a source of strength to them. That they are so strong, that you are so strong, that you they'll be able to follow you yes. and then they'll see that uh, they'll be healed. Yes. Healed of what? I don't think it's healed of the COVID-19. Yes. But their hearts will be healed. Amen. Their minds will be Trust. healed. They'll be, mm -hmm. uh, their sister, they'll be trusting yes. uh, in the Lord uh, during this time. So their spirit yes. will be strengthened during this time. Yes. But then verse 14 says, and follow peace. Come on now. Follow peace. Yes. Uh, as we talked about the other night, don't become so anxious uh, Sunday. And don't become so yes. worried about what's going on. But have a peace about you. Yes. A peace that Paul says that goes beyond our understanding. Yes. And a person that's looking at us need to be able to see the straight path 
And they need to see a peace in us that we are saying, regardless of what comes, I'm still going to trust you. Yes, God. yes. No matter what happens, yes. I'm still going to trust uh, in God. But then verse 14 says, also without which no man shall see the Lord. Without, without what? Peace. Without the peace. Peace yes. is what enables you and I to, to see the Lord yes. and to show the Lord yes. to, to others. People will be able to see the Lord by seeing the peace that you and I have yes. during this uh, crisis that we are in. Yes. But then notice verse number 15. Mm. 15 says, look, looking diligently, lest any root of bitterness mm. spring up, trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. You see the word looking diligently? It actually comes from uh, the Greek word uh, episkopos, and, and that's a very interesting word because it is the same word that Paul uses in 1 Timothy 3 and verse number 1 when he talks about the bishop, uh, the qualification of an elder. That is the same word. Now, we do understand that that is a compound word. You have ipe, uh, which means to look, sapas, uh, which means uh, uh, to be over, so when you look at this word and you put them together, a pepos, it literally means to look over. It carries the idea of one who has an oversight. Just like a bishop have the oversight of a congregation and he has the responsibility of making sure that congregation is God, is directed, yes. uh, and he guarded, and he watching over uh, that flock because he's going to have to give uh, an account uh, in the end. Well, Paul uses that word, and I know you don't see it in the text because you see looking diligently. Yes. But that the word looking diligently in the Greek is just one word. It's the word bishop, epipos. It literally means that you need to guard uh, your heart. You need to watch uh, your heart. Yeah. You have the responsibility of making sure that what goes in your heart, you control that. Amen. And that's why I want to let you know, according to this text, you are the bishop of your heart. You are the one that oversees. You are the one that watches. Yes. You have the responsibility yes. or the oversight uh, of your heart. Now, I know this, this crisis, this COVID-19 have actually taken the hearts of many people. Uh, we watch it on the news and all we hear uh, all day long. And if we ain't careful, it'll start having an effect on our heart. And, and, and you have to guard your heart. Yes. That's why the Hebrew writer said, you are a bishop of your heart. And you have to make sure that what goes in, you guarding it, you watching it, you directing it, uh, you correcting it. Yes. So all of those things are so important when it comes to looking diligently. Yes. And you see the word diligently? Yes. It also carries the idea that you have to put some effort uh, behind this. Uh, when you talk about guarding your heart, it ain't going to come easy. Yes. You have to make sure that, yes. that you uh, hear the right thing. Yes. And that you Watch the right things. Amen. You are the bishop of your heart. Yes. Just like the bishop over the congregation that watches out for your soul. You are the bishop of your heart yes. that watches over what goes in uh, your heart. Amen. So I want you to understand tonight that when I talk about being the bishop of your heart, I want you to realize that you are the one that is responsible for what's going on. 
inside of you. Inside of if you. If you get discouraged, yes. if you become depressed, yes. if you become weary, yes. and you become overwhelmed with what's going on in the world and in this country right now, then it's evident that you may not be guarding uh, your heart. You may not let, mm. you may not be uh, at a point where you can keep your heart with all uh, diligence. Yes. Because out of it, Solomon says, are going to flow the issues of life. Yes. I pray tonight that you will guard your heart and that you will allow all the things that's going on around us, yes. everything that's going on in this world today, everything that we see that's going on, I hope it don't uh, don't allow you to become bitter. Oh my goodness! Because see, the rest of that oh verse. Oh my says, goodness! Look in diligence, lest any fail of, of the, the grace. grace of God. Oh, mercy. See, God's grace. grace is still sufficient. Yes. Just as it was sufficient for Paul. Yes. During his trial, whatever he was going on, whatever was happening in his life. Matter of fact, he said he asked God three, three times, times to remove it. Yeah. But God says, my grace, grace is sufficient yes. for you. Don't and then Paul mm. realized that he was made strong in his weakness. Uh, uh, so therefore, I want to encourage yes. you that God's grace, God's grace is still sufficient. Don't fall from it. But Ooh. don't you fall. Yes. Don't fail at the grace yes. of God. Because once you do, you won't allow bitterness, bitterness. Mm. to take root in your heart. Yes, Lord. And he said, don't allow that. Don't become bitter mm. because of what's going on. And I know there's a lot of people right now becoming bitter because they're wondering, why come God hadn't taken care of this? Come on, if man. there's a God, why come God yes. hadn't counseled this COVID-19? Yes, why come he hadn't found a cure Please, yet? God. Come on now. So therefore, some people are saying, I'm upset with God because yes. God allowed it. Even some say God sent it. Yes. I don't know. But I do know we can't allow what's going on to cause us to become bitter. Don't you become bitter. Mm. Because you remember in the verse I had that says make sure your feet stay in the straight path. Yes, yes. So that people will look at you yes, and yes. follow you. Yes. And they will not turn away. Yes. Well, now he says you don't need to become bitter. Because once you become bitter, yes. there will be many... That will become uh, defiled. Mm. They're going to look at you. you will and they will look at, me, look at me. And many individuals will become defiled. Because of my, because of my mm. bitterness. Because of your bitterness. Mm. So what are we going to do? Woo. We're going to stay strong. Lift hands. We're going to lift hands. Yes. We're going to bow on our knees. Yes. We're going to pray to God, yes. we're going to keep our feet yes. in the straight, straight. and narrow path, yes. and we are going to mm. trust God yes. with all of our hearts, and we are not going to lean up upon our own uh, understanding. Yes. And then, we are going to become the bishop, bishop. of our heart. Glory. We're going to watch yes. out. Yes. We're going to be looking at what goes in. Amen. We're going to make sure make sure what goes in uh, our heart uh, is what's going to keep yes, us strong. Keep us so that we will not become bitter. bitter so that we will not, not defile, defile many. many. Mercy. May God bless oh, you. Oh, glory. Glory. Oh, I mean, we could go on and on. Glory. That's a good word. To me, I don't Amen. know about you. Amen. But that word strengthened me. Yes. So now that I know that whatever go on, whether our, this virus yes. gets close to our house, yes, right. Whether or not it affects our family, yes, we don't never know. We don't know. We safe right now. We pray that you are safe, yes, uh, right now. But if mm. by chance that you find out that you have been affected, 
Yes. We're going to still trust God. We're going to trust Him. Either way it goes. Yes. We're going to trust Him. Amen. Don't let the news yes. determine how you feel about God. Protect your heart. But you make sure yes. your feeling is based yes. on the Word of God. Trust that you have faith yes. in Him. Yes. No matter what comes. No matter. I'm going to still trust in God. Him. Hold on tight. <laughs> May God bless you. Amen. You got to sign a word for uh, us tonight. I just, I, I'm just shouting. Uh, it has encouraged me. Um, you have, you really do have to guard your heart and watch your heart. It's just a good word all by itself because it is. It's so easy to get uh, to just get overwhelmed by the crisis. And and I'm just praying that tonight you will you'll become the bishop of your heart. You protect your heart. Turn the news off. Build yourself up in the word uh, because we do it every day. Every day we build ourselves up in the word. And okay. so that's what we're praying for you, that you'll build yourself up in the word of God. Amen. Let's end with a prayer tonight. Amen. Before, just before I end with a prayer, I do want to let you know that uh, I got a phone call uh, a few minutes ago. Many of y'all know Sister Jackson. Uh, she haven't been with us uh, in a while. Uh, I got a phone call that uh, don't know if she'll make it through the night. Uh, doctors have given up on her. She just laying there and she will, uh, they gave her 24 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, and she called. And so I'm going to run over and uh, mm -hmm. be with the family uh, tonight mm -hmm. and uh, just encourage uh, that family. So pray for me, you know, yeah. as I go uh, over that I travel to Shebaville and be with the family tonight. Amen. Pray for the family. Amen. Uh, you know, if she lasts another day, we're going to thank, thank God. God. And if she don't last another, we're she's still going to thank she's God. She's ready. Because she, she's been very sick here lately. Mm. Uh, been in the hospital and now she's out of the hospital. And I guess she wanted to come home. So she's at home. Uh, so let's just pray for uh, the Jackson family, uh, especially mm -hmm. a granddaughter mm -hmm. that was uh, that stays with her. Amen. Any final thing? We ready? Again, good being with you. We look forward to uh, seeing you on Sunday Amen. Uh, morning uh, when we'll be bringing our lesson Amen. Uh, live streaming again. Yes. Uh, until all of this, uh, you know, kind of settles. Uh, down. Uh, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all that you have done. And Lord, we pray that you help us to keep our hearts free. Father, we pray that we understand as bishop of our own hearts uh, that we we control what goes on in our heart, that, that enters into our heart. And Father, we pray right now that even in the midst of COVID-19, we still going to trust you. We're going to praise you. We're going to lift up holy hands. And we're going to bend uh, on our knees and pray to you. Father, help us. Help this world. Help this country. Help our leaders uh, that they make decisions. We pray for those on the front line. Father, our doctors and nurses and those that are taking care of the sick. We pray you keep them healthy. Uh, as well. Pray for all of our truck drivers. We pray for those that works in the grocery stores and the pharmacies. And Father, all of those that even uh, in the restaurants that we can just drive up uh, and get our food. Father, we, we thank you for those workers. And Father, we pray you keep all of them healthy as well. And Father, it would be a sad day that when we have no restaurants, and we have no grocery stores and no pharmacies uh, to go to. And all of our truck drivers are not able to drive. Father, we pray you keep all of them healthy, keep them well, and keep all of us well as well. Thank you again for the message tonight. We pray that we all have been encouraged because of your word. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 
Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Amen. Appreciate you. Yes. And we had several that joined us uh, in our Bible class uh, tonight. So we just want to say again, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Yes. Stay in care. Yes. Stay healthy. Yes. Stay six feet. Woo. So that God will bless you. Amen. Good thank night. You. Good night.